Hi, this is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. Elton John's 1973 album Goodbye Yellow Brick Road was by far the star's biggest selling studio album, amassing sales of an astonishing 30 million copies worldwide. It ranked number 91 in Rolling Stone magazine's top 500 best albums of all time. So what was it about both the material and the making of this album that would make it the greatest album success of Elton John's entire career? Well, perhaps Elton himself explains the quality level of the band's output best. In his own words, by the time we got to making Yellow Brick Road, the machine was so well oiled within the four musicians and producer Gus Dudgeon, it was perfection. The musicians understood each other and knew what to play. I didn't have to tell them. The boys did their backing vocals when I was in bed. It was the height of our powers. Originally, Elton had wanted to record in Jamaica. But, due to studio tech difficulties, coupled with disturbances due to the Joe Fraser and George Foreman boxing match that was due to take place in Kingston, and the violent political tension due to poor economic situations, and the decision was taken to relocate the project to Chateau de Reville, just outside Paris, described as a creative factory. Breakfast would be served in the morning and a grand piano would sit in the corner of the room. Elton would begin playing and writing immediately, and one by one the band would walk over and join in. They would have rehearsed and recorded two tracks before lunch, and that was the incredible daily routine during that fortnight. Producer Gus Dudgeon has been described by Elton as the band's fifth member, attributing both the quality of the recording and creativity largely down to Dudgeon himself. Dudgeon has described himself as simply a music fan who started as a music studio t-boy and quickly worked his way down. And of course there's lyric writer Bernie Taupin, who despite writing some of the most memorable words in pop music history, doesn't have too much recollection of it. He says it's funny but there are songs that I recall writing as if it were yesterday, and then there are those I have absolutely no recollection of whatsoever. In fact, I'd have to say that for the most part, if someone was to say that the entire Yellow Brick Road album was actually written by someone else, I might be inclined to believe them. I remember being there, just not physically creating. Despite that, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road has remained the pivotal album in Elton John's career and to this day is considered one of the most influential albums of all time. In the US it was certified gold in October 73, five times platinum in March 93 and eventually eight times platinum in February 2014. Of course, Elton John's voice was by far the star of this incredible works show. In the words of Ben Folds of Rolling Stone magazine, he was mixing his falsetto and his chest voice to really fantastic effect in the 70s. There's that point in Goodbye Yellow Brick Road where he sings, on the ground, his voice is all over the shop. It's like jumping off a diving board when he did that. This is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. Shop for the greatest selection of music gear on earth in store and at guitarcenter.com.